In this video, you will learn how to transfer geometry to ANSYS Mechanical using the Separate Disconnected Parts option. This option allows you to decompose component groups created in SpaceClaim so that ANSYS Mechanical can mesh them independently using parallel meshing. I have a model of a cylinder with some axial ribs along the cylinder and radial ribs around the cylinder. There's also one large exterior shell part. If I suppress the various types of parts of the model, it's easy to see that there is a large number of individual surface bodies, axially and circumferentially. This large assortment of parts is grouped into three components in space claim. I'd like to treat these bodies as individual parts so that I can maximize the benefits of parallel meshing. I'm ready to transfer my geometry to Workbench, so I'll click to transfer the geometry to a new geometry cell in the Workbench project schematic. I'm now ready to manipulate my geometry in Mechanical. But if I transfer my geometry to Mechanical now, the three components in my space claim geometry will be grouped as three multibody parts. This presents a problem for me because multi-body parts are meshed as groups rather than as individual bodies. Using parallel meshing, I may be able to mesh far more than the three parts at one time depending on the number of CPUs at my disposal. I'm going to select the geometry cell and then select decompose unshared geometry. Now I'll launch the geometry in mechanical. As you can see, I now have one flat list of parts, each of which can be meshed independently by its own CPU using parallel meshing. That concludes this demonstration of the Separate Disconnected Parts option.